Hi guys, I'm Timo Denk and in this video I'm going to introduce you to my shift register PWM library. It's a library for microcontrollers like the Arduino Uno. What it does is making shift register pins usable just like PWM pins and thereby extending the total number of PWM pins that are available for usage in a project. This video serves as an overview about the library and I'll first start with the demo so that you really get an intuition for what it is all about and then I'll briefly explain the technical background and then show you how you can get started and actually utilize the library for your own work. This LED bar is controlled through a shift register and the library. As you can see there are sine waves going through the LEDs and opposed to normal shift register usage where these LEDs would either be on or off, um, their brightness can be modulated. It's not the actual brightness, it's just the observed brightness by the human eye or in this case the camera. So here you can see just three pins are going to the Arduino Uno. The library was written in C++ and developed for the Arduino Uno, but can also be used on other microcontrollers with some slight modifications. So in normal mode, it's using timer interrupts to control the shift register. Um, by default, timer one, but this can also be changed if needed. The shift register that I have used is called 74HC595. It's also worth mentioning that the library supports multiple shift registers in serial mode, so they can be chained uh, one behind the other um, to get even more uh, PWM pins. In order to get started, I recommend following along these two links. The first one is the GitHub repository of the library. There you can download it. And secondly, the corresponding blog post, which contains examples, more technical details, and also circuit diagrams for wiring things up. On this last slide, I want to give you an idea of what the code looks like. So the first line creates a new shift register PWM object. It, the constructor takes two parameters, the first one being the number of shift registers that are stacked in serial mode. Usually that will be just one, I think. And the second parameter is important, this is the resolution. It's the number of different brightness levels that the LEDs will take. So keep this resolution as low as possible because, because it has also great effect on memory usage. And the second line is um, in enabling the interrupt mode. This means the uh, library automatically takes care of setting up the interrupt and calling its update method frequently and with equal spacing between each call. And there are the parameter, there's only one parameter and that defines the update speed. So depending on your operation mode, you probably want lower or higher update speed. Um, it's just the PWM frequency essentially. The last line corresponds to Arduino's analog write. The first parameter is the pin, in this case the fifth pin of the shift register, index four. And uh, the second parameter is the brightness. So this is a value in the range from 0 to 255. It's an unsigned byte and it will be scaled down to the resolution automatically. So 255 is full brightness, 0 is essentially dark and everything in between goes linear. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you can use this library in your projects.